right, Michaela Lambert is another episode of Rock and Rescue, and this horse that you see here was once a very, very scrawny, very sick little dog. Big dog. Big this dog. is Blue. He decided to come for a pup date. I cannot believe that this is the same dog. It's kind of like when we had Teddy in here, and Teddy was like this little skeleton, and then all of a sudden big and healthy. And Baloo, can you say it for me? Say it for me? Yes, <laughs> sir. That was beautiful. So Baloo is a great Dane and had a laundry list of health issues when you took him in. Uh, how long ago did you take him in? It's been about six months. About six months. Yes. And when you had him, um, it, it's kind of hard to imagine a dog this big being able to see his entire skeleton. It was it was crazy. Yeah. How much did he weigh? He was 111 pounds. 111 pounds, which is severely underweight for a dog uh, this big. And in the last six months, not only has he put on how much now? About 40 pounds. About 40 pounds. Yes. We're helping. We, let's make it 41. <laughs> Should we make it 41? <laughs> but he also had um, some heartworm yes. issues, which was really bad. So give us a little update on, on all of that because most people are going, oh, yeah, we've heard of heartworm prevention, blah, but I've never really met a dog that had it until I met Blue. So yeah. what does heartworm do to him? So heartworm disease is just one single mosquito bite. It's all that it takes for your dog to get it. Um, it goes into their bloodstream, goes to their heart, and then the worms. Um, Okay. Yeah. Yes. And uh, when that happens, a lot of times they move into the lungs as well. Um, so eventually it will cause death if it's not treated. Um, and he did have it when he came into the rescue. So he was not being kept on heartworm prevention, which is very easy to do. It's so much cheaper, so much easier on the dog than heartworm treatment. Um, so he has, he did the um, first medications, which was doxycycline and prednisone. And then he had three different heartworm injections before he had to stay at the vet. Um, and so he's done with all of that. Um, and then he had surgery because he had hemangiosarcoma, uh, which is a type of cancer. Um, so he has now had the surgery. We are hopeful that it will not come back, although there's always that chance. Sure. Um, but we are accepting applications for him at this oh time goodness. with the understanding that, you know, he has had some medical issues. Right. So something that will have to be monitored. How old is he again? He's four. Okay, so he's four years old. And so, I mean, even at four, the idea of a dog having cancer that young is, is really scary and it's heartbreaking. I've lost dogs to cancer at the age of six. And it's like, man, they only had six years. Only four years here, but that's not to say like, hey, if the cancer does not come back, but even if it does, yes, sir, I'm sorry. <laughs> if, it, if it does, you have the ability to have this amazing dog and give him the best life he can have for whatever is left. And as you can see, he is a gentle giant. Um, we're working on it. We're very excited about the treats. So we went from trying to take my hand off to be <laughs> being very gentle. Just like, just keep feeding me. Um, when he first got here, too, he is a lap dog. Don't let this size fool you. He is a lap dog. He's a cuddler. Uh, when he first got here, he's just like, move over. I'm going to sit in the chair with you. And, uh, and he did. So, wow. Just wow. <laughs> so the heartworm treatments are all done. We're cleared up with that. The cancers have been removed. Hopefully that stays away. And you are just amazing. You are a whole new dog. He is. Just fantastic. And the most gorgeous blue. I'm like, those are husky eyes on that. Look at her. Look at her so she can <laughs> see your eyes. Is he... Yeah, I'm going to wipe your slobber back on you. I just did that. I'll wipe your eye boogers on my own pants, but your slobber's going back on your face. <laughs> so you can, of course, meet Baloo at Michaela's Mutt Motel. Log on to the Facebook page. Of course, we'll link you right through here from the video to michaelasmuttmotel.org. You can fill out an application. Come do a meet and greet. What a great dog, and he is just gentle, fantastic. Like, I'm just, I, I'm out of words because I am just so stunned at how well he has recovered. Perfect. You knew that this is when we were wrapping things up, right? <laughs> it's blue, y'all.